What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you're new and because I make videos all the time. I try to make videos all the time. I really do. I really do. If not, then keep up with me on all of my social media. It's all down below. Go check it out. Today, I'm going to be doing a full review, unbiased review on this snake oxygenating and cleansing bubble mask. I'm so excited. I got sent this mask by one of my subscribers, Steven. He is so nice. And I was like, why not make a video about this? It's so... What, what really spoke out to me was how it said snake. So the word snake. If you guys don't know, the word snake's been going around for quite a while. Um, I say it quite a few often because, you know, there's snakes everywhere, literally. Like, snake is like a fake person or someone that does something like, you know, snaky. Someone that does something pernicious. So yeah, that's what snaky is. Like, you're a snake. Like, like that's snaky. So yeah, I don't know. I thought that I should eliminate myself from all these snakes and do a snake mask. So yeah, let's try this out. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Okay, so my hands are all washed. Um, I wash my hands like a doctor, so I wash my hands like all the way up to like my wrists and my elbows or whatever you want to call it. I don't know my body parts. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, wow. I've done a lot of these masks. I really like it because it's really smoothing. It's really smoothing. It's really soothing and I just feel like it's really absorbing into my skin. Um, I don't even know where to begin to open this. Uh, yeah. So I have this store here in Hawaii called Longs and I went to go get some skincare products for myself because my face was like super super red and irritated one day and then there was a lady that was working in the department and she gave me like this huge bag full of wait I don't know what side to do it from Remove dirt, dead skin cells and excess oil to brighten complexion Um, unclogs pores Oh, okay Oh, instructions before you rub this Oh, never mind So I guess you remove this part Okay What do I, where do I put this? So you remove this from I don't know where to put it Wow It smells like chemicals. It looks like I'm gonna rob a house. I have a nasty breakout whip right by my mouth. I hate when I get crippled by my mouth because it's like, ill. Okay, I like this mask already because like other face mask, like other like sheet mask, like it like hangs over here. So like it hangs down. This one, like it contours to like, it contours to my face. Oh, it's really bubbly, obviously. Feeling snaky. So these things never fit my face perfectly, but who whose face is fitting perfectly with this? I don't know anyone. Hmm. So it's starting to bubble up. Um, I really like it. This is a really good mask. Um, wow. So here's some information about it. I just Googled that right now. So you guys can learn a little bit more about it. Um, I need to learn a little bit more about it. I didn't even read the directions for you guys. I'm so sorry. But oh, look. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut today. So yeah, after like two months, I finally got a haircut. Um, I've been dying. Like, I don't have time to cut my hair all the time. Like I'm always busy. I'm working every single day. So like I don't have like time. And then when I do have time, like I want to sleep and catch up on. Because I, I get tired. I work in two jobs. Like you get tired. You get exhausted. And today I start work at five o'clock. So um, yeah, I'm excited for that. And tomorrow I don't work. I don't work at my other job. She gave me off, so that's okay. But we have like a, a, like, a work party after that. So I guess, yeah, that's fine anyways. It's only like bubbling on this side. This side, not so much, but I guess like maybe the bubbles like attract like the most where it's like the most trouble because this is like where I have like the most breakout, but I have like breakouts over there, like right here. So I don't know, it's not bubbling like right in the spot right here. Maybe it'll bubble eventually. So it says to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, That's cool. Like my face already feels good. Like the smell went away. Like when I first put it on, the smell, it smelled like chemicals, like to be honest. Like when I smell it right now, like it doesn't have like a nice fresh, fruity, like nice, like it doesn't have like a nice happy fairy tale smell. It smells like like chemicals a little bit. So that's like the one weird thing for me. But maybe that's a good thing. We'll see after I start to take it off. And it keeps going in my fucking mouth. Like I said, these things never fit your face. So it's like, it's gross. Oh my God, gross, gross, gross. But if you guys haven't watched my other videos, um, I've worn a latex mask for like a month straight for Halloween. And it really, it literally ruined my skin. So that's why my skin is super, super like breaking out. There's redness, there's dark marks, there's spots everywhere so that's why my face looks how it is right now before like two months ago my face was perfectly fine it was perfectly fine how it was and then all of a sudden it just got messed up so yeah right now i'm just trying to rejuvenate my face put it back to how you know it was and eventually it will get better like i said in my previous video it's not a race so i don't have to like rush and rush and rush and try and get it all finished right now um i have to take my time be mellow with it i just have to treat my face nicely and you know t with time it will come so don't rush it and it eventually it will happen also i previously went to sephora and she gave me some samples um, from this brand called Rin or Rin, yeah, I can't fucking remember what it's called. So she gave me these samples um, from this brand called Ren. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I have so much skincare products. Like I don't know which one to use. Like if you guys seen how much skincare stuff I have, like it's ridiculous. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to show it because it's so messy, but I have so much skincare stuff. Like I don't even know which one to use. If all comes to worst, I have this to fall back onto. So 
yeah. Um, so some the lady that was helping me at Sephora, she gave me some really nice tips and hints that I can like do to like help my skin. So um, before, like I used to like just lather my face on with like moisture and stuff. Like now, she told me that I should like just tap it in. So yeah, I'm gonna get into a habit now. It just um, washing my face like nicely, like I always do. I don't like abrasively do it, like I'm trying to rip off my skin. <laughs> but now when I put on my moisturizers, I'm just gonna tap it in, like tap it in nicely. And then um, I need to start wearing a lot more sunscreen. So thank you. You, Steven again for sending me that Clinique um, prep one the one that has SPF in it because I need to start wearing my sunscreen even though I'm never outside oh it's starting to fall down my face I am never outside I'm always inside because I'm always at work but the only time I'm ever outside is when I'm walking to work or walking from work but by the time I'm walking home from work it's already nighttime I need to start wearing my sunscreen and yeah so I'm just gonna like tap it in because usually I would like like what I, how do you explain that? I don't know how to explain that. However, if you guys have any tips about how I can apply my moisturizer or like wash my face or what's good and what works and what doesn't work, let me know down below because I love hearing from you guys. I always reply back to you guys, no matter what it is, no matter if it's um, tomorrow, a week from now, three months from now, a year, I will always reply to you guys. My channel is um, growing. I don't have 10 million subscribers, so it's not like I can't keep up with you guys. I have over 600 subscribers, so obviously I can still manage that. Okay, update. So it's still foaming up like right over over here um it's starting to go in my eye uh, yeah still smells funny but i like it i really do like it i'm really excited to see how it's gonna look when i take it off when i clock off the mask but oh my gosh i'm so excited that i finally get to sit down and actually talk to you guys i actually feel like more comfortable when my, my face is like covered with a mask because like i feel like you guys don't have to like be staring at like all my redness and stuff like that like i feel like i'm almost like letting you guys down because like i look like crap and i feel like crap that's why like sometimes i don't make videos because like i don't feel comfortable in front of the camera but then again i want to make videos because i want to like there's no other like a lot of there's not a lot of youtubers out there especially in this day of age that have like acne or like um stuff like all over their face or like over their body or like like, aren't like like super super buff or, or shit like or or stupid unrealistic shit like that those things don't matter to me like yeah it's nice to like have like muscles and like have nice skin and have nice teeth nice nice hair and all that but like like not everyone is like that and like just because you don't have that stuff like it doesn't make you like any lesser of a person like it doesn't make you like ugly or anything so that's why like this is one of that's one of my purposes for this channel is to uh, um, let you guys know that you guys aren't alone um, it that doesn't make you better it doesn't make you less um, you're perfect the way you are and like I want to be there for people like I want to show that the world isn't all I want to show the world that like those people like aren't any better than you there's normal people out there and I'm a normal person like I'm not better than anyone else and I'm here for you guys. I'm really here for you guys. This is why I'm using this platform because I want to help other people. I want to meet other people. I want to hear other people's stories. I want to share my story. And there's people out there that, you know, really care about this stuff. And I really care. That's why I wouldn't be making these videos if I didn't care. Trust me, I care a lot. I really do. <sighs> I talk a lot. I really do. But um, this is the moment that I have to talk to you guys because, like I said, I'm always busy. I'm sorry. I really am. <laughs> but I have so much videos planned before this year ends. Like, um, I'll just tell you guys right now, I'm going to make a video about what my goals are. I'm going to talk about how my whole year went, what went wrong, what went right, what can go better. It's going in my mouth again. Gross. Blech, blech. Oh my god, now it looks even funnier. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm starting to like. Whoa, look how bubbly that is. Let's move it to that side. Blah. Okay, yeah, anyways, back to what I'm gonna um, do for my upcoming videos. I'm gonna talk about um, what my five goals are for 20... <laughs> I'm gonna talk about what my five goals are for 2018, so I'm excited for that because it's so exciting. Yay, I'm so excited for that. I already know. I wrote it down on my phone. I make a lot of notes. I write notes everywhere. I write notes on my wall. I write notes on my phone. I write notes on my arm, on my face, on my elbows, everywhere. I write anything down So because um, I, I'm not forgetful. It's just that when you, when you write things down, you have a better chance to remember it and a better chance of actually following through and doing it it'll go into my mouth again <laughs> but this month will be over this year will be over before you know it so if you guys have any goals or um what you want to accomplish before the year ends or for 2018 let me know down below and i'll help you with it or we can just chat about it because we, you have to have a plan whenever you have any goals you have to follow through with it because if not then it's just going to sit there and you're not going to follow through with it so yeah dream big have 20 dreams have 50 dreams have five dreams no matter what it is you're dreaming and because no matter what you're trying to be in a better spot and you're trying to be in a better position than where you are right now because we can always do better. We can always do better. 
yeah so i don't think it's been 15 minutes but i want to keep this mask on as long as possible i actually need to put um a pore strip on because like i have like red or not redness i have those dark spots on my nose and i'm trying to get it off i'm trying to get it off but last time i put a pore strip on my nose it literally took out one thing i'm like come on now like obviously i have a lot more than that but you guys are literally iconic um i say iconic so much because one of my favorite youtubers is charles gross oh my god i literally will watch every single second of his video he is literally an icon he's a legend like I, he has like a lot of haters which sucks but it's, it's stupid like i don't pay attention to that like i don't care about that like i'm one of the supporters that like literally adore him in all of his comments i like I'll, i like he is such an icon like i love him so much like he's so cool like i don't i don't know i just i guess i can relate to him in some ways and like i just i like what he stands for like like okay like he has perfect skin he has perkins he has money he lives in new york city so what obviously people are gonna hate on him people want that fucking lifestyle i want that lifestyle so why would i rat why would i waste time hating on him when I could just like not watch his videos if I didn't like him. But I do love him, so that's why I watch his videos. So if you don't like him, why are you guys watching his videos? Come on now. Get on some real shit. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, so with my face covered like this, my face looks so good. Like I can just see like see the like clear. This is like where my clearness of my skin is right now. Should I take it off? I feel like I should take it off already. Huh 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 huh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Voila. Does my face look whiter? I feel like my face looks whiter. I don't know if the redness went down, but um that's what it looks like little this is the dead snake skin this is the dead snake skin so we are less snakier now because of this mask let me wash this off and let me get my full final review on the snake oxygenating um bubble mask so i just took it off um when i was taking it off it kind of took a while to come off because it's like very moisturizing and like there's like a it was like very like slippery like when i was taking it off i was like hmm i keep the have to keep rubbing it my face feels a little stiff a little stiff i i just sprayed my face with a breath with brush of fresh air from lush here's a side by side comparison of before and after um let me know if you see a difference if it made a difference uh, but that was just a snake mask um get it don't get it whatever if you don't want to get it get it i liked it it was all right but there's other masks out there that could probably just work a little bit better um i'm just gonna relax because i start work later and that was my review on the oxygen snake mask i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you if, if you guys want to see more reviews on skincare products or if you guys want to let me, or if you guys want me to do any other reviews on anything let me know down below in the comments as always and i will see you guys in my next video and as always just because you have something society does not accept it doesn't make you any less important you guys are all amazing and i love you i will see you guys in my next video bye